What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I have this Den Brass kick cylinder. Looks like a Falcon. Um, yeah, it's a little sticky, but you can get it to turn if you pull the key out a little bit. So, it's like the cut's a little off or something, but you can get it to work if you play with it. Eh. Otherwise, it's uh, pretty damn sticky. <laughs> but that don't matter. There's the bidding. Typical Den Brass fashion, we have... An epic bidding. Just just awesome. And actually, a bit of a restrictive little keyway. So it should be uh, fun to try to get into this puppy. I haven't done much picking lately. haven't had a lot of time. Um, been uh, real busy with work and home stuff. And we'll uh, see what I could do. Use top of the keyway. We'll start with a reach. Might not be able to get it, so I'll try this slimmer profile. I might have to use this to get these back pins or something like that. We'll we'll give it a shot. We will see. Let's see what dead brass got in here. I'll try reverse uh, tension. And um, you might notice that lately I haven't been putting up. Um, the images in the corner there for the people's channel and that's uh, because YouTube is doing away a little bit of a full set there uh, YouTube is doing away with uh, annotations so I won't be able to use them sooner or later and um, to be honest it adds a lot of editing uh, normally I could just upload these videos right away and not have to do any editing or anything like that if I didn't add the uh, the image of the person's uh, channel and stuff like that because uh, there's no cuts or anything in most of my videos, uh, unless you know I forgot something and I want to show you after. Got a pretty good full set there. So um, yeah, I'm I'm not going to be adding that from now on. Uh, I will put links to the people's channels down in the uh, description below. So you can, uh, if you're looking for the person's channel, you can go check the description there. So I got a really good full set here. Not sure what's holding me up now, but uh, it's either a T-pin or a spool or something that deep. And this feels like a spool and rope. All right, let's see what Dan Rass put in there. It's a pretty good little lock. Had uh, a lot of feedback right up until the end, and then I guess a really deep spool felt like on three. Uh, Held me up for a little bit there. Let's open her up. So yeah, YouTube, uh, they're always changing stuff. I, I wish they didn't. Um, the annotations that are around will still work, but uh, come, I think it's like May, May 1st, uh, you can't add any more annotations. And because it, uh, you know, cuts in on my time for uh, these videos, uh, most of my time for these videos is editing. Um, you know, I pick for I pick and record for like a ten minute video, and it's you know probably like half an hour's worth of editing. Uh, I should have. Ooh, good thing <laughs> I should shim this. Um, yeah, and that's you know to track down the the uh, photo for their channel to fit it in the right place, make it the right length, and fade it in and out, get it the right size. Uh, you know, all that, all that good stuff. This is tight, guys. This is very tight. Let me try a security shim. These are the, uh, out of the security tags, shims, these are the thinnest ones that you could possibly get. And if you can't fit one of these in there, then chances are you're not getting anything in there. Even this is tight. Uh, I can get it to go. It's taking a bit of a fight, but uh, it is going in. All right, well, I got most of the way in. Let's see if that'll work. If not, I'll just use a smaller follower. And, uh, oh, there we go. 
you can use a smaller file and all the uh, pins just drop down to it. It's not a big deal. So putting it back in is the harder part. So we got six pin. We have a beautifully serrated pin on one. Oh, that's a cool pin. It's uh, serrated with a T key pin, T pin. That is also a serrated pin. That is a key pin, T pin with a serration. That is a very serrated pin. That's a nice looking pin. That's that's Trekmaster quality there. Nice. And a cool, another cool, uh, like spooled T pin. We have threading in everything. Three had a spool or had a um, counter milling and threading. So three is counter milled and threaded. Pretty cool. Let's get that shim out of there. And uh, the first uh, damn brass I picked out of the package there had a pin and pin in it, which was uh, new for damn brass from, from what I've seen. So maybe this one has one too. Who knows? We'll, we'll find out here. This pin is on the shear line. Does not want to come out. There we go. It's right on the shear line. There's a serrated, uh, very, very sharp end on it. Very sharp. At least a really strong spring. And that is a spool, a uh, multi, multi-stage spool. We'll get these springs out too while we're at it. Oh, there you go. Look how small that spring is. So that was just on the shear line, like right on the shear line, that pin. Uh, this is a pretty short spring too. That is a spooled serrated pin, or is that like a mushroom? Yeah, it's a mushroom serrated. That's cool. Looks like a little bit of a reduced diameter on the top. Again, another really short spring. That is cool. He's uh, doing spring work as, as well as pin work. This is a very serrated pin. Lots of uh, smaller serrations on it. Another short spring. All these springs look pretty short, but looking at the Bible, it actually looks kind of short too. There's a uh, standard Bible. Well, it's about the same size. I guess he's just using longer pins, so he's shortening his springs, which is a good idea. You don't want too much spring bunching up in there, especially if you're threading these chambers, which it looks like he has. We have serrated with T pin, and last but not least. We have a serrated, serrated spool kind of thing. Nice, nice pin. Let's get these last two uh, springs out, guys. Forgot to dump number five out. We'll do that right now. And then number six. There we go. So, some really nice pins here. Uh, really crazy bidding like typical with Den Brass. Um, that's one thing he's known for, and one thing I really like about his locks is his, his bidding is, you know, <laughs> some of the best around. He uh, obviously uh, hand cuts his pins. i try to situate this where I can do it justice. There we go. And uh, we have threading in everything. Everything is threaded up in the Bible. And again, everything is threaded in the... Uh, and the plugs, except for one and three, are also threaded, but they are counter milled as well. So pretty damn cool. And that is what Den Brass put in here, guys. Let me grab my pointing tweezers. And we got some uh, pretty awesome stuff here. We got, um, oops, I'll show the key after in a sec. Uh, we got some nice deep serrations and, uh, you know, wide and thin ones. We have, uh, Really cool sharp serrations with a T pin on the top there. That's actually T pinned. You can just see it there. And a nice uh, wide serration. And a nice uh, little fine serration with a T pin. 
And this is the one I was saying is, come on, focus, man. Focus. This is the one I was saying is Trekmaster quality. That is uh, very even and very consistent in the depth and, and everything. That's much like Trekmaster makes his serrated pins. Very nice. And this one is a uh, sharp serration with a spool kind of T-pin, which is nice. And then up in the Bible, we have a very sharp uh, double serrated very sharp on the bottom same as this one very sharp on the bottom is a uh, multi-stage spool so you can see it's got two stages to that spool and this is the one i opened it on this is a serrated mushroom pin that's pretty cool nice and sharp as well uh, this one has uh, a bunch of serrations a couple of uh, you know wider ones and then some micro ones right in between them and then we have a nice wide serration with a t-pin and this one is really cool. I guess you'd call that a double spool with a serrated in the middle, or, or is that two wide serrations with a short serration in the middle? Very sharp on the bottom. Very cool pins. I'll turn it sideways here so you can get a good look at the profiles. These pins. Very nice. Very nice pins, Den Brass. And it was a fun lock to pick, too. Uh, it didn't take too long, but uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll get a good look at the plug here. Might as well. While we're at it, you can see uh, threading in every chamber, except for one and three are counter milled, but there's threading underneath that counter milling too, so pretty damn cool. And there's the keyway again for anybody interested. It was a little restrictive, it was pretty good. And that's the uh, Falcon kick cylinder and the bidding one more time. Just amazing bidding. Dan Brass does bidding like no other. I mean, you can. I've only seen a couple of his locks that didn't have super crazy bidding. So right on. Thanks, Dan Brass, for pinning up this lock and sending it out to the uh, community and sending it to me. And um, thanks, everyone else, for watching. Later, guys.